Hello, my inky friends. How is everybody on this beautiful, bright sunshine? Actually, it's funny. I was talking to a friend yesterday, and they were they were in Alaska, and they were telling me that it was snowing, and I was like, oh, I turned on my air conditioner today, the house air conditioner, because it was a hot one yesterday, and it's a hot one today. It's funny. We went from winter to, like, summer in, like, a flash. It was crazy. How is everybody on this lovely... Hopefully sunshiny wherever you are. Thursday, where did this week go? I cannot believe it's almost over. Hello, Elizabeth and Lee. I mean, Lee, I don't even have words for you, girl. Just add it to your stash of things that, you know, just put it in the box and admire it or leave it in the box and admire it. Brenda, Brenda, I was reading what you said there about your um, brother. So sorry about that. I, I would say hello to Heather, but she's on mute. So I'll say hello, Heather. She is there, but she's on mute. Um, I'm, I'm oh, back. you I'm are here. back. Hello, Heather. And Hello. Brenda, all I have to say for you, girl, is that you do whatever your crafty budget allows. I mean, that's a that's a tough one. And good luck with brother support because I have tried. I've been down that road and not had any luck. And Graham, Graham, I haven't seen you in a live for so long. Um... There is a video where I teach about how to make my splatter. It's called New Sprays and Splatters Recipe, and my thumbnail is like me spraying you. So that's a fun one. Answer your question. Mary, hello, and thank you, Mary, for your email today. Katie, hello, Katie, and Melissa, and Anne from Nashville. Ooh, I bet you it's warm in Nashville. And Michelle, hello, Michelle, and Carrie, or it's, uh, I wanted to say Carrie. Is it, I, how would you say that? I'm going to let Heather say your name. Siri, maybe? I was going to say Siri, but it's like, you know, I wonder how many people's phones are like now listening because I said Siri. Anyhow, <laughs> hello. <clears throat> and Teresa, I haven't seen you in a hot minute. And they are, they are definitely no help. You're right. Dana and Adrienne. And Lee is back from her shower after dealing with the bees. So I have got I've got some fun stuff tonight. And actually, um, before I go into some fun stuff tonight, I got a card and I left it upstairs. And and I've had it for a couple weeks, Miss Elizabeth. Thank you for your card. I will show everybody next week. I forgot about it upstairs because I, I have it up. Um, I do want to talk about cards cards really quickly these beautiful cards you guys have been seeing these for a while they are finally up on the website okay the kit is going to start flying from the inky studio mid-month in time for an end of the month class in june this is all colored cardstock so if you were on the spellbinders website and you saw bb's hummingbirds last month um the, the release date got changed, so I had to change the class date. And I'm not doing a class this month. I need I need a break to, to recollect and refocus. I have been go, 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 go. And would you believe yesterday I was starting to feel sick again. My nose was running. I was coughing. I was like, oh, no. Thankfully, today I'm not too bad. So um, this class is going to teach you how to do all of this on colored cardstock. Like, for instance, this one was blue. Let me see if I can kind of... See there in the back how it's blue? That was blue cardstock, okay? So I'm gonna teach you in a class how to do this. Now, um, you guys can thank Miss Chris for this. Chris Hartley, hello Cheryl Lee and Kimberly and Glenna and Karen. But you can thank Miss Chris Hartley for this because Chris had made a suggestion to do digital classes. Now, while this cannot be a digital class, I have made a no kit version of this class. So you are able to purchase that, attend the live class, and play along with your own dies or your own paper, or maybe you already have these. Okay, so you're able to play along at a reduced fee because no physical kit will be mailed to you. So those kits will start going out mid-month. I'm going to get all the die cutting done here this weekend for those and get them all packed up and ready to go. But I was looking, and you, you know, I actually had to look today to see, am I forgetting something? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Maybe not. Anyway, I had to look today to see what fun reasons there were. And um, June is 
National Roses Month, okay? So with that being said, I thought this came to mind. And if you were here last video, uh, Thursday Night Live, we had some fun with Washi. I think it was on a Thursday Night Live. We had some fun with Washi and I thought, isn't that rose? Doesn't it match here perfectly? And I had talked about the Paris My Love ephemera. Um, you know, it's really funny. I actually looked up the actual definition of ephemera and this is not ephemera. It's made to look like ephemera, okay? But nevertheless, this is actually up on the website now. But because it had roses, I want to make a card out of this tonight. And Vintage Fo Florals 2, um, I'll show you a couple of these. These roses happen to be in Vintage Florals 2. And I might I add, June is also Pen Pal Month. So you don't need a quote unquote pen pal to participate. It's an inspiration, right? Just like Casing Cards is. But Use that as an inspiration to maybe write a handwritten little note or little letter and put it in a rose-based card for June. So anyhow, this is one of my favorites. The other favorite um, four-piece in this set is the one with the girl. I had them all out here. Here they are. And let me see if I can find the one with the girl. These are all mixed up, but this is another one in that set here. There's another one of those. Where's the girl? I just love her. There's another one of those. And the girl. Where's the girl? I might have used, I might have used her because she's one of my favorites. But nevertheless. Oh, there's my Those are there. Anyhow, so I thought, let's do something fun with these. And I have a, um, I have a little something I want to show you guys here tonight. Because it's not nothing I've linked. Um, some of the besties know about it because they've seen it. But... I want to play a little bit because what funner reason to make a card than just to play, right? So hopefully my playing will help inspire you. But what I did when I was at the um, scrapbook carnival, many of you guys that saw me there picked these up, but I was showing you how to um, stencil over top of them because I was a little concerned that because they're printed the way that they're printed on an inkjet printer, right, that the ink might kind of bleed when stenciling. And to my surprise, it did not. And I actually have one of those here. Oh, here's even some more of these. Or did I just put those back there? I probably just put those back there. Anyhow, I did stencil on one of them and it didn't bleed. But I, I noticed that when I took, where's the one? I wanted to do a side by side. Well, I'll do a side by side with this one. I went and put some of the distress collage medium over top. I gotta find a dupe for this for you guys eventually because I'm getting to the bottom of mine and I wanna save money on it. But do you see how much that popped? Like, can you, let me just see if I can zoom in here so you can really see. Look at this. Do you see the vibrance here? Actually, I think you could tell better when it was back here. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but I can certainly see how it just, really intensified the colors by putting that on there. And when you put a distress collage medium, um, this, a lot of people use it as glue. A lot of people use it to kind of, you know, paste things down, but don't overlook this kind of product for a wash on the back of your card as, or uh, on the front of your card front. Yes, not on the back, on the front. So I've done two because I have something I want to do with those. But before I get to that, I have this. Now, I was showing some of the besties. If you are not an inky bestie, I, I, I don't know why. Now is the time to join. It's a free month this month if, you, if it's your first month. It's always a free trial in the first month. But we have got so many fun, distressing things to do this month. But the last Friday of every month, we kind of just get together like this, except... I can hear you, you when you talk. It's the old Google Duo. It's now called Google Meet. It's kind of like Zoom. You can come with your video or not your video, your audio, whatever. You can just sit there and watch. Like some people, I won't mention any names, you know, like Dana, one night she she had a, she was sitting and I could see her kitchen behind her. And I was like, do you have a TV in your kitchen? And she's looking and she goes, oh, good grief. It was her television reflecting in her microwave. I thought she had a TV going in the kitchen. It was quite comical. But nevertheless, so I showed some of the besties um, 
that's just what they're called the, for the membership, right? I showed them at the end of the month some things I had gotten on Timu. And to my surprise, some of them got some of the same things I did. But one of the things I got was these little dried florals. There we go. They're just dried pressed flowers. And let's see if you can figure out why I got them because I got two sets of them, okay? And I got some other things too, but for today, I'm gonna just keep it simple because the whole idea is we don't wanna break the bank, right? But I ended up with some of these little, um, there we go, um, you know, words are hard, seal, wax, wax yep, 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 wax, wax seal, wax seal stamps. Uh, because they were so inexpensive. I got a bunch of dyes and stuff too that I do plan on showing you guys. But for tonight, um, I got a bunch of different ones. Where's the other one I got? I got another one here. Oh, it's laying down. I was actually really impressed. Now, I'm not going to say that these are near the quality that the um, Spellbinders would be. This is Spellbinders one here. Um, here's another Spellbinders one. I wouldn't... I, I mean, just weight alone of the actual apparatus. And you don't even have to use these with handles. You can just pick them up and just use those as well, right? But I would not categorize them in the same category. But hey, I'm, 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 I'm uh, not above spending two bucks on a little, you know, press for my wax because I wanted to try some hot glue. Um, cause I've seen it all over Instagram. So I'm sure you guys have too, right? Um, my volume's up the max it can go. So, um, I'm not sure what the, what the deal is. I can maybe, oh wait, no. Okay. I can go to, no, mine's up as max as it can go. So anyhow, um, I thought what better to try with hot glue on, you know, my cheaper ones and then I don't have to you know, use my super expensive ones. But before I go into that, before I got all of those, uh, all of these, all three of these on Timu, I just wanted to test it, right? And I will certainly buy more. Um, like I said, the quality, I'm trying to see if maybe, I don't know here, maybe if I can kind of, so do you see here, it looks like it's got like pock marks all through it. It's not, it's, it's just not as smooth textured as this one is, but it, it it's wax. It's not going to show up, right? So it hasn't anyway in my testing, but I ordered, let me put this in here so you can get the full, the full whammy here. I did link this for you in case you are interested in this, because this I found is basically the same price as these, um, but, but there's just more of them. And I was blown away because uh, I'm not above buying things on Amazon. And there's a lot of things I buy on Amazon to save money. And when this little book came, I ordered obviously some of these things, right? But when this little book came and this was all tied in a pretty bow, I was like, wow, this is a really nice quality. I'm like, I hope that they didn't, you know, spare no expense on the book. But then what's inside is kind of not that great. And when I opened it, this is what I saw. And I was like, wow, I was really impressed, okay? So it comes, isn't it very pretty? It comes with one holder and that, that's, let me tell you, it's not heavy, but you can feel that this is quality. I mean, and it kind of is a little nostalgic. It makes me feel like, you know, maybe I'm part of the 16th century or whatever century it was that they did these. But there is one, two, three, four, five, six in here. So when you break it down cost-wise, two or three bucks for one of these to the price of this, it might be something that you might want to have a peek at, especially if you're trying to save money and just play, okay? You don't have to invest in all the waxes and everything, okay? But you can always play around with your hot glue. And I have to say, I was at the Comic-Con Expo here this past weekend and Ryobi was there and this little guy <laughs> wait a second here I was like if you know my other heat gun it's huge right so there's a big battery and your big heat gun sits on top of it glue gun if you will excuse me um that Cheryl Lee enabled me because her husband bought her one and she couldn't wait to send me a picture so I couldn't wait to go buy it but this guy watch this 
I feel like a little stormtrooper, and I can just, the only thing this is missing is the little foam dart that darts out when I shoot at Todd, right? So this here, I had to link it for you because this is under, I think it's under $30 US. It was crazy. And um, I don't know if it was a show special or not, but if you're in Canada or even in the States, you can always have a look um, at Home Depot because I got mine free shipping. And this will hold a charge. I, I mean, you can't take it off and then, you know, go about your business for the next two or three hours. But you're just going to dock it back here. And this little guy helps with all these little glue bits that want to leak out, which my big one didn't have. And I was always trying to position it over top of one of those little triangles. So I am in love with that. And one of the things I noticed since playing here today, because um, I got playing with that because I just got it yesterday, was I'm actually thankful that the glue is so ridiculously hot. Like it steams, smokes, whatever, when it comes out of there. And I'm thankful for that because it gives me time to add like gilding flakes or, you know, my little bits of flowers where you guys know some of those heat guns, that stuff is dry before you can even get two things stuck together, right? So I am going to show you a couple little fun things or maybe one fun thing. Yeah, with that, with the hot glue. And then I want to do this one with our traditional... Do, 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 do. When, when you have a pause, let me know. We got Simon in the house and he said, the Hello. Blue that magical. Isn't it magical? Hello, Simon. I've missed you. How have you been? Nice to see you. Simon has been super, super busy. I don't know if you follow him on social media, but he is getting he's getting pretty famous with all his little his little shows and all his cool products and stuff. You see little tidbits of his stuff here and there, but it's nice to see you, Simon. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. But it is a magic. I was just actually saying that I feel like a little stormtrooper with it. So nevertheless, what I want to do here is I want to show you because I showed you guys this card last week with the washi, I wanted to show you what you can do with these so inexpensive. Now I gotta tell you, I was on Amazon looking at these pressed flowers. I'm like, dude, they're pressed flowers. They're, they're expensive. Like what, why the big price tag? But on Timu, they were very inexpensive. And this cardboard is very, very, very thick. So even though they came in a bag, in the classic orange Timu bag, I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, and even if some of these little bits fall off, don't worry, we can still use those, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I've already kind of started to um, perform surgery, if you will, and I'll use my Simon says stamp scissors. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. All right, I'm going to use my little scissors and give them a little snip. And I've got just some random little wax pieces here for those of you that have wax. For those of you that don't have wax, and you're like, Cindy Lynn, I don't have wax. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I will show you how to do another technique with the actual heat gun. Okay, so all I'm going to do here, I like to combine my colors as well. So I've got two for the pink, and I've got one for the brass, if you will, because I kind of pulled a brass out of this particular color, and then I've got an olive green. There's not, this isn't really olive green, but you know what? It's my card, and I can make it whatever color I want to, right? So I'm going to let those melt, and maybe what I will do is I will stick that to the side really quick, and while that's melting, let's pull out our tin tile, and let's do... Let's do this guy, because this guy I want to do the other, no, maybe this guy will do that technique on, which one? No, this one. Okay, so let's pull this out, because I want to show you how unbelievably easy it is with our light molding paste, and I know you're probably like, what light molding paste? Uh, stencil butters, unless of course it's Simon's butters, because I tell you guys all the time, there's nothing I hate more than opening up one of these butters. And I don't know how many times you guys have seen me pull out those. Um, and I'm not just saying it because Simon's here. Well, maybe maybe I'm mentioning it again because Simon's here. But um, the 
Simon's butters are 100% just as creamy as the day I got them. But a lot of your pacing, you guys know the brands out there. You go to open it and unfortunately it's all hardened. And I got this stuff in November of 2021. 22. I was still upstairs. That's how long ago it was. And this stuff is still creamy, creamy, creamy. Thank you, Jennifer McGuire's husband, for this. I don't think you need this stuff over top, but I was talking to the girls at Kensington Art Supply, and this stuff has a five to seven year shelf life, okay? So you are, you're golden. You will not have it going hard on, well, after five to seven years, it probably will. But this one isn't really a butter, okay? It's a paste. So we're just gonna come in with some of our paste and just kind of apply it here a little. And this is merely just to show you, you know, what you can do over top of your background paper. Now, this is nice and flat, so what I like to do is just kind of come in and pick up a little bit here, and voila, I got some peaks and some valleys, and I have nothing to clean this with. I did not grab my little container. Uh-oh, uh -oh, but it's not uh -oh. far. You guys can chat it up with Simon for a few seconds while I go get this. There we go. All the clinking and clamoring. I forgot to get my little container out here. And all you need is a little container with some water. I'll steal the dog's water. And that's it. Okay. I, I sometimes put a little, little thing of Dawn dish soap in there, but... That's underneath the table. I forgot it, so it's not important right now. And we'll let that dry while we, I might have <clears throat> done better to get a, a bigger candle here. Let's, um, see I have this really neat tool called a pick and poke, here it is, shameless plug. Get that green down in there. So as you can see, the colors, let me bring it up really quick. They just, careful with your hand, there you go. They just kind of all merry melt together. Let's put this to the side. Now, what I wanna do here is get this guy ready. Now, I was experimenting today and I was trying to think of ways to dye the glue that goes in here because I, I got talking to the guy at Ryobi and there is believe it or not a difference in the quality of glues and I didn't go and buy this is $50 Canadian in the states it's less than 30 but I didn't go and spend $50 on a second hot glue gun when I have one already to go and put some of those excuse me dollar store glue sticks with the sparkles I made that mistake on one of my cheaper glue guns so I wasn't about to do that so I got playing and I was trying I actually tried some foundry wax and I don't know what I was thinking that wasn't the right thing and then I tried some alcohol ink and that didn't want to dry so um, unlike you know what it does on craft plastics so I'm still gonna play with that so I can hear your motors running I know you're gonna ask me about dyeing it and I think the best thing to do would be to stick a few drops of just a dye based ink on there okay because the um, alcohol ink was a no was a no-go for me okay so while you're playing with your hot glue gun because what I did find is, um, and I'm going to show you this technique. I keep seeing this on Instagram. You can focus anytime. There you go. With the cardstock in the back. And I just, it's kind of filmy. I didn't really like that. So, well, it's not terrible, terrible per se. And I, and I am going to do that. I'm going to show it to you. But I'm going to try um, another brand of, glue sticks as well. I'm going to go to Home Depot and I'm going to pick up another brand. Um, I might even grab a set on Amazon just so that you guys that don't have a Home Depot or whatnot see alcohol inks I was playing. But if you don't have one readily available, then you'll have something close to you. So um, with Amazon, right? Now, I wish that I had a different color. I think I'm going to go for a bigger sprig here while I'm letting that last little bit heat up because... 
I'm feeling like this little one is kind of getting lost here. Let's go, let's go with that, that. No, I'm gonna go longer. I'm gonna go longer. I can always use this one on the next one. So let's actually pull this out. What happens here if I just do that? There we go. So they are pressed and they are real. So be ginger, be careful. I think I'm gonna go with this long one right there. All right, okay. And all these little pieces that go flying, save them because you can still use those, okay? So let's take this little end off because it kind of looks like a little bit of a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. There's not much left to it. So there, let's go like that and put one there. Let's put another one here. And it's just subtle, okay? You don't want, you don't want like, you know, a whole bush on your your pretty card okay so one of the things that I ha I do get in the habit of even when I'm using wax because I never 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 want to forget and not do this is my Versamark and I had it out here where did you go well I guess we'll just have to pull out another one Oh, here it is. Okay. So I always, always Versamark because when you're using hot glue, you're going to want to make sure you Versamark it. Okay. So if you always Versamark, even when you're using wax, then you're never going to forget. Okay. And I want to use that new one I got on Amazon here, this guy, because it's got like these little sprigs. Let me let it focus. There you go. Okay. So I want to use that one because it kind of goes with what I'm going for here. Now, one of the things that I like to do when I pour my wax is I, I don't like the perfect circle, right? I don't want it to be perfectly uniform. I'm going to show you if you do like the circle, a really good way to do that, especially with paper. But I like to just kind of pour it a little wonky. And I think I might even raise this up. I'm going to raise it up to there because I find that my little, my little sprigs show up better on the washi that we did last week. So I'm going to, hmm, I think I might put this on after I pour because with hot glue, it doesn't matter because it's clear. But with this, I'm new to the whole dried flowers. Okay. So we're going to learn together. I'm going to stir this up a little bit because I want there we go, a little bit of that green to come out. And when you pour it, don't go for perfect precision here, okay? Kind of like a little bit wonky, if you will. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. A little bit wonky. Oh, I love it. Okay, put that back. And then put this guy on and then this guy I actually like to use these pointy 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 spellbinders tweezers because they're easy to clean if I get wax on them there and I might even put one more right up here where there's a little empty spot so here I'm not necessarily going for the impression I guess anymore because I've got all these flowers here, right? So I'm kind of just going for the whole pressing it in and, oh, I should have worked faster. I've been playing with my hot glue all day and it was like so much longer working time, but I did say we're experimenting. And you know what? I got the impression right in there anyway. It kind of looks like a bit of a hot mess on the video. It looks really cute here though. I like that. Now, I did, I'm gonna warn you. You can click the link just so you can see what I used. I highly suggest not pulling the trigger and adding to cart because it's kind of expensive right now on Amazon, but I have these, um, well I used to have anyway, my Krylon pens that have just, seem to escape me now. They're gone. Where did my Krylon pen go? There they are. So these here are the 18 karat gold leafing pens. Get these at Michael's. Use your coupon. Don't pull the plug on the Amazon one. But um, I think I even have a bronze. Hold on. 
Hold on one second. I don't. How do I not have a bronze leafing pen? Well, Mama has to go shopping. And I'm going to tell you why I like these ones. The, not because they have the best tip in the world, because they don't. They always fray. There's nothing you can do to prevent that. But because it's a chunky tip. So when I bring it down over top of my wax, I'm not picking up all the other pieces around it. You know what I mean? Like I'm only getting that raised edge. So there. Look at that. So cute. I want to almost, I almost want to do that one one more time and work faster, but, and you could always add more to it if you wanted to, but let me put this one to the side and pull out the other guy because this is, this is where we're going to have some fun. So this guy, what I want to do is I want to take out a one inch circle punch and I'm going to come in right, I'm going to come in where these are joining here and maybe a little higher, right about there. And I'm gonna pop that bad guy out of there. And then what I'm gonna do is pull out my little waffle flower mat. And I have gotten this thing pretty dirty. I got some soot on it and have no fear, it cleans right off. And I know that the Spellbinders one, you get a colored one if you, if you get the little Spellbinders kit, right? So dirt doesn't show up quite as much. Now, I will show you, and, and I kind of thought that this was going to be for, as Tim would say, compartmentalizing. You could just do a whole whack all at once. I think I could probably, dang, that's hot. <laughs> go away, blow out. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Now it's going to get stinky. Okay, um, I kind of thought that you could do like what Tim says, compartmentalize and just put a whole bunch and just go to town, which you can do, okay? And I'll show you what happens if you, let me do a second one here, hold on. Let me get a second random piece of paper here. Um, let me punch one out of this, just so that you can see what happens. I just need to cut some of this off so I can get a new, I've been going to town creating circles just plain today. So I don't want to do it on this one, of course. I'm going to do it on this one. So you can put this in here. Now, a few tips I have, okay? First of all, Versamark. Make sure you have your Versamark out. And like I said, if you get in the habit of always, always, always Versamarking, then you're never going to forget and go straight down into hot glue. I'm not going to say you can't get it off, but I'm not going to say it's going to be easy, okay? So, um... And I don't speak from experience or anything. I would never make that mistake. But I'm, I'm, I'm telling you because a friend told me this. So here, you can do a whole bunch of them. So if, you're, if you don't have the mats, these are very inexpensive. You can make a whole bunch of them. You could even put them away in here if you wanted to, okay? This guy is going to get the flowers, though. So this one, can we go a little bolder and go purple? Or is that going to be... Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go purple on here just because I have them. Why not? I wish I had gotten more colors, but hindsight, right? I just wanted to try it out because this whole Timu thing, you know. Now, can I mention something else about Timu? Um, shop wisely, if you will. You're going to see every now and again you know, a certain unnamed stamp company's case on there, you know, that looks like this, and this has been removed, and all you see is this. So obviously, you know, that's copyright, and we never want to support anything that has been stolen from hardworking artists that are getting paid by companies to make stuff for them okay so keep that in mind but i did find that on 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 the grand scheme of things um i didn't find a lot of that on timu okay i don't know if that's because it's newer i don't know i'm looking for my scissors anyway um so be mindful of that okay but when it comes to like flowers and things like that i was pretty i was not really that concerned but i was concerned with what the presentation was going to be like when they got to me so i kind of wanted to be a little 
a little mindful of only ordering just a few things. And generally, I mean, us Inky Besties, I tried out some of the dyes there on uh, Friday at the end of May, and I was I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, I was pretty impressed with how how well the dyes cut and stuff. So if you're looking for, you know, just that one little something just to add a little something to your card or you just like to spend money like I do then definitely check those out but you will definitely get a whole bunch of these guys now this is kind of the thing I'm going for here but I want this to be Eclipse okay on my card so this one I'm going to put my glue right on there okay like so get it straight and then this one, I'm going to put my glue in here. Okay, so let's zoom in so you guys can see what I'm going to do. Now, another tip. When, if you're using this, um, this glue is hot. So beware. If you've got tiny little fingers wanting to craft with you, make sure there's some supervision when it comes to this thing. Like I took my Ryobi glue gun to make some peeps with my dad a couple Easter's ago. And yeah, there's just, it's not happening. Dad's not allowed to operate the heat gun. I got, I'm sure, borderline third degree burns from it. But when you um, start depressing your glue, oh, I don't think my light's supposed to be on. When you're depressing your glue, go slowly. Cause I found that the quicker that you're trying to squish it out of there, the more bubbles that are going to appear in it and nobody wants bubbles and don't not have your thing in here. Okay. Make sure that you got, hi, that's Todd saying hello. So there, and the more glue you put, the more spillage you're going to get. I'm going to do that one in a second because I don't want to work too, too quickly here. So making sure I've depressed it into my Versamark and I'm going to put just a little bit more here. And this here, it's so hot, you have such a good working time. Now that glue naturally wants to stay there, right? That's why we're bringing in our little press here, but just press it in and leave it, okay? Leave it until your glue looks milky, all right? Mrs. Breadfest. <laughs> If you, if you know, you know, <laughs> someone in the chat knows what I mean, but nevertheless, so if you try to pull that off too soon, I promise you will ruin it. So give it, give it a few, give it a bit to do its thing. Now this one, I'll use one of the Timu ones so that you guys can really see here. And I'm just going to come in. Now I played with this with some gilding flakes and those work just fine. I'm going to do this one just plain and simple just this guy so that you can really get a good idea because if you have the kit like I have from Spellbinders there's absolutely nothing wrong with adding to your little arsenal of all the little things right so oh almost don't do that don't ever stick it in here without your Versamark okay and I'm gonna go a little tip from Kimberly when you have a, a, a okay I'm going to go a little bit off to the side because that's how I roll. And there. What's our tip from Kimberly? She had said the next time you all get a flower arrangement with baby's breath, save your baby's breath in a book and put it on your card. Brilliant. And it's free. Well, it wasn't because, you know, your significant other got them free. I, I might just have to go buy me some baby's breath now because even if you go into Safeway, I'll bet you. You could go into Safeway or any of your local grocery stores or florists or whatever and just get some baby's breath so much cheaper than you would ever get it ordering it online. And it's, well, it's not as instant. How long does it take to dry it in a book? And would you put it in some wax paper so that you're not, baby breath you know, is already if dry. If you didn't care about your book, you could probably just put it in the book. But right. if you cared about your book, use wax paper. Yeah. Well, and I mean, if you guys have followed me for any length of time, I'm sure you've been to the thrift store and bought paperback Romeo Juliet Hamlet books like I've been getting for junk journaling and stuff, right? But um, isn't baby's breath already dry, though? Or maybe not. Maybe it just feels dry. It, I don't know. It kind of feels dry, but it's it, it's not. It, it, it does have a little bit of moisture to it, but I don't know how long it would take to dry. I wouldn't think it would take that long. 
I wouldn't think so. Okay, so here. Now the whole thing wants to lift up here. Now what I have learned is, is if you just go and pull this really hard, the glue almost wants to peel from where the paper is, okay? So be careful, all right? And let me pick this up just so you can get a good, and that one actually, you can even read the word geranium. It came out really good. I like that. So this here, I don't see why gold is going to be a problem here. So let's close up our Versamark. And I mean, how easy is that? Even if you don't have 20 bucks or whatever it is for this, I mean, hop on Timu, grab a couple of these. Once you start and you start small, then it's easier to add. You don't have to run out and buy everything all at once, Cindy Lynn. I mean, you know, you know, if you know, you know. So our leafing pen. Now this guy, the only recommendation I have is just be patient with them. Um, you can pump it even after it's been sitting for quite some time. I do find that Krylon is a really good, reliable brand. I don't have a problem. I'm not going to pump, pump, pump it because I've already pumped it today. But I do like that wide tip on here again because like I said, it's easy to just, I just probably should have, there we go. I should have gone a little bit lighter handed here. I went really heavy, but that's okay. You'll get the point. And what I want to do is I want to do the outside too, okay? Because I just think it looks pretty. And then you don't see that milky kind of glue, if you will. So I'm just going to go around the outside and be careful where you're going to hold it because you don't want to break your flowers once they're in here, okay? So just be very mindful of that. And this is like compartmentalize just make sit and make a whole bunch of them. And as a matter of fact, I should grab my, I got to pump it again because it's getting a little dry. I should grab my little box of all my wax stuff because I have countless little wax seals in there just from playing. And you know, I want to see a thumbs up for anyone that agrees with this and thumbs up on the video while you're, while you're there, by the way. But if you've ever sat and just made a whole whack of something, to never ever end up using them on a dang card. I mean, I have a handful of these wax seals that are so, so pretty, and I need to like get them out and get them on a card, okay? So nevertheless, there you have it, okay? So you see how pretty that was? Now I can go, be careful, Cindy Lynn, let it dry, and I can go and I can put a dimensional on there and just kind of pop it up. Now, do you have to take this out of here? Do you have to hole punch it? No, you don't. You can totally do it without hole punching it, but at least now you know you can hole punch them. So all of those scraps, and let me tell you scraps, um, I've got a card I'm gonna finish here later tonight. I literally made all from my scraps. And if you were part of that masterclass where we did our thing with just scraps, you should have a little container of just your little ends of pattern scraps, and that is perfect for just die cutting or hole pun or hole punching, um, punch punching, punch punching. These punch punchings. Okay, so here, be careful when you're peeling this off. This one wants to hold a little bit more than the other one because there's not all the flowers in there, but you can see. The little row, oh, there it is right there. You can see the rows, okay? So, same thing. What color card was this? Oh, this isn't a card, but that's okay. We've got the gold out, so we may as well just go with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So, very light hand, and you're just gonna kind of very lightly go over top. It's so, so simple. I mean, it's so easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Go around your outside just to give the outside a little extra something, something. Now, um, I've been asked, do I actually put these on envelopes? No. <laughs> With our mail system, this isn't Kevin Costner in The Postman delivering our mail. So it doesn't go in someone's little satchel and, you know, go by horse to wherever it's going. This is going through really harsh machines. So, um... If you were to do this, I highly recommend 
grabbing those clear plastic envelopes and doing up your card the way you would do it, okay? Address it, everything like that. Put that inside the plastic, but put the stamps on the plastic because if they cannot cancel your stamps, they'll return it to you, okay? So at least it has a better chance of making it, if you will, but um, I save this for my cards or for maybe one that you are hand delivering. So there is that one, okay? So I just like that it gets, let me show you a few uh, examples of what I mean when I say wonky. I'll show you here. So here's a really good example. Let me put it on there. And this one, I haven't colored it in yet, but you see what I mean how I haven't colored that one either, but they're just kind of more organic and natural. I kind of like that, right? But if the circle thing is your thing, then I picked this up because I thought I could just make a whole whack of them, especially with the card stocks. So that, and then the waffle flower mat. And if you go into my um, tools and supplies, there's also the munchkin mats. They tend to be a little less expensive. If you're on a tight crafty budget, they tend to be a little less expensive than said waffle flower mat. But let's now pull out this guy because now you can see all of my paste on there. So pretty, right? And this guy, and funny enough, multi-use multi for your glimmer machine. You can put stuff on there, which is where I put this, and it dries a lot faster. Same with your watercolors, okay? So let's take this guy, and I'm going to put a dimensional behind him, yes. But being careful, okay, because of all of our little dried flowers. But it's just one of those things now that someone's gonna look and go, oh, how did you do that, right? And look how easy it was. So I don't know that I would suggest making up a whole bunch of these in advance because I'm not sure where you would put them or how you would store them because they are dried flowers, right? So be mindful of that. But this guy, let's pull you over here and you and move this mat back down here. And let's do some sentiments. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna save these as all full card fronts because of the trim around here. Like you see here all this round on the outside. I like that. So if I just leave that as my card front, which if you were here during the week for the card kit unboxings, I am no further ahead when it comes to card bases. Um, I need I need some I need some studio time where I can just focus on studio stuff. Okay, there's one, two, oh, While yeah. You're at These didn't get scored um, properly. Oh, Angie Brown is asking, do you have to use that ink pen on them? You don't you have to at all. Examples without. Absolutely. I showed you some without. And the only difference is without, you really got to look to see the, especially when you're using, um, and I'll, I'll pull it back out again because that's not, that's not a bad question. I just don't want to put it over top of here. So, um, so there's one with, and then let me pull one without, but I want to do it like this one here. Actually, this is going to work. Oh no, I broke it. That's okay. I can put a piece of, a piece of, I can put a piece of, I can glue it. I can glue it on the back. All is not lost. Okay, so this is a good example. So here, do you see now how you don't have to exact same press on those, but one, you kind of really got to look. Now, let's say, for example, we did just um, a solid color, okay? So here's one in a solid color, and I have the exact same solid color, different saying, but it's colored, okay? So while no, you don't have to do that, 
it kind of helps make it pop, okay? You can do it with white. And as a matter of fact, see, this is what happens. You guys ask me these questions and you get me going. I'm like squirreling everywhere. So here, this is my um, accent. And many of you guys already have all three colors of these. So feel free, pull it out, play along. And I'm just going to get... Uh, I Yeah, I said accent, but I meant Arteza. Thank you, Heather. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So one thing you have to do with these is just clear off your dry paint because it does dry. And what is that? Oh, it's a piece of the wax. I'm like, is that like a like a, a, a pressed bug? <laughs> I didn't know what that was. Okay, so with the white, oh yes. Now this is gonna take a lot more work though. It's going to take a lot longer and I'm not going to do the whole thing because that's not what this is about, but let me just, it's much more pointy. So you have to be more precise. Whereas with the other one, because it's so wide, you just have to kind of brush over it. So yes, you can do it with these. I don't recommend these, but if it's what you have, you work with what you got, go for it, right? Until you get to Michael's and get get your coupons out and grab some of those other guys. Now, I was going to pull out these here card bases, but is it just me or did I score these wrong? No, they're good. Okay. They just looked like they were scored wrong. So I want three vanilla bases. That Be would never happen. Never. It's like, it's never. like, it's like sticking this into hot glue without putting Versamark. Never, 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 never. I mean, I do. Yeah. I'm the least perfect person. Anybody knows that's for sure. But you know what? That's why I made a rule. I'm, I'm forever going to depress it both whether I'm doing wax or whether I'm doing glue because then I will You're never, never so make that mistake. What's that? You're still zoomed in, I am still way. zoomed. I just thought maybe, you know, people would really like to see how I get in there with that um, scoring of the, the, the yeah, they're actually pretty bad. They're, it's time for, it's time to go to the salon. Okay. So this guy, I have got some sentiments and if you have followed me for any length of time, you know that when I foil, oh, speaking of foiling, I may or may not have gotten said pink mink mini machine. Just saying, I may or may not have gotten that. I have this here bin of all my lovely little scraps because, ooh, you know what? I wasn't, I actually had pulled out this. This was the color I wanted. But now that I'm seeing, ooh. This one's really pretty too. That one would be pretty for there. And these are just those Michael's book boxes, right? And I have so many scraps in here, especially from Foiling Master Series in uh, whatever that was. March? Because we just finished April. Is this May or June? It's all a fog. It's... May. That's right. We're in May. It was in That's March. right. It was in March. Right. Okay. So I will get these. I'm going to do a little bit of foiling because I have it out and you're here and I want to give you a tip because Michael's Recollections 65 pound uh, plain colored cardstock I find is one of the best I can get for foiling because it's not got a lot of tooth to it. So because it's so cheap, it's so great for foiling, if you will. All right. Meaning that a paper kind of like, um, especially your Stampin' Up! papers, um, your thicker 80, 90 pound, you know, um, my favorite things and pink and mains and those really good, good colored cardstocks. There's so much tooth to the meaning that if you took a piece of charcoal and rubbed it over the top, you'd see hills and valleys in the paper, right? And if, if you don't know what I mean, just picture for a minute chalking or charcoaling over tombstones. 
that kind of effect. So if you did it just over the paper, you would see white areas, okay? And I teach about that in the pencil coloring classes. So the more of that, the more likely you your paper will, um, how do I say, the more likely it is that it will overfoil. So if you're not a foiler, then you don't even have to worry about it. You can pull out your embossing powder and you are good to go, right? But I am a foiler and I just want to kind of add that little bit of pop and this color is going to be perfect there. And this one over there, yes, yes, and over here too. So let's pull out three sentiments and again if you're not a foiler don't worry you can follow along and just use your heat embossing so let's go with let's see what we're working with here one two th I'm gonna move this because you know what's gonna happen something bad is gonna happen with that poor guy by the time I'm finished here you're my everything well that's Paris when no matter what because Paris is everything sending you strength that looks like it'd be good. I want, I think I want something more cursive on here. I might not do this one. I think I want something cursive because we've got cursive writing on here and I just think it would look pretty with something cursive. But this one I'm okay with regular text because there's all kinds of regular, it's not really a sympathy card, regular text on there. So, um, so proud of you. Congratulations. That would actually be a pretty wedding card almost, right? So let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. And I would pull this all out and show you what I'm about to do, but I have taped all of my plates to my glimmer board, the, the docking station, if you are the dock. No, the dock is the thing the thing goes in. You know, you'll see it in a minute, okay? But I've taped them all. So I'm just going to kind of put this together and take two pieces. And I'm going to use my big girl scissors because no scissors cut this stuff as good as this does. Go one. So today, first day in as long as I can remember... There was nobody here. Angelina was in school. Ina was catching up on sleep. Todd had training or something at the office. I was like, oh, what heaven is this? I'm like all alone. This is wonderful. I was so excited. I, I think I might need a little bit bigger of a piece of foil, though, for this tiny little sentiment. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Let's trim this. So we don't need all of that. Now, if you are a foiler and you have not yet been opened up to the world of the totally awesome, terrifically magical, amazing yellow tape from Spellbinders, I don't know what you're waiting for. That was the best thing that ever happened to my craft studio. And funny enough is I have always been obsessed with this iCraft purple tape and the new iCraft tape, not so much, but um, this stuff has completely diminished my need to somehow go to the end of the earth and find more of that and it's funny because the besties and I were talking about it we did find it online and then I thought what am I getting all bent out of shape about because I love this tape and especially in situations like this because you don't have to worry about where you are taping your sentiments down because the tape does not transfer the foil let's try to waste the least amount of paper there we go. And then this guy. I guess I probably could have done two at once, though. That might be a good idea. There we go. So roses. Does anybody know somebody who... Oh, I almost have put these on wrong, too. Does anybody know somebody who loves roses for National Rose Month coming up in June? Does anybody... Can anyone think of someone that likes roses, even a girly friend, you know, it is. My mom's favorite flower was the yellow rose. Your what? My mom's favorite flower. Your mom's was the favorite, yellow rose. the yellow. Very nice. You don't see many yellow flowers. Yellow is the color for happiness too, isn't it? Like, it doesn't. The yellow rose isn't that supposed to represent happiness? 
Uh, is it happiness or friendship? Well, if it's the right friendship, you're automatically happy. So <laughs> there you go. Okay, now I'm going to lay this upside down on my glimmer machine. Flip my yeah, door closed. What is it? A symbol of friendship is the yellow rose. Brenda, I use the green tape that Simon uses and I really like it. I don't know that I've ever seen the green tape Simon uses. Do you mean the green tape that Simon, as in Simon Hurley or Simon Says Stamp? I'm guessing Simon Hurley because Simon, I don't know if he's still here or not, but Simon was here. Maybe that Simon. But a lot of people refer to Simon Says as Simon. So... Do, do share, Miss Brenda. Do share. Um, so Terry was asking Friendship is yellow. if you can still buy a year membership. You can, Terry, but you have to be a member to get the year. So anybody who's a member, an Inky Bestie member, can now get a three, a six, and a 12-month membership. I sure hope it's been published because my web designer or my web. Okay. What is he? His name is Chimo. He's from, um, uh, where is he from? Oh goodness. Peru. I don't know. Anyhow, nicest guy ever. Um, he fixes all my website problems and he, if you noticed, the new releases page is now proper new releases and you can see all of the um, menus on the side now from almost everywhere on the website. And also when you search a product, you don't end up in a blog post because you searched pick and poke or something, right? So anyway, um, he showed me how to do it and I'm pretty sure that if for some reason, um, Miss Terry, you don't see it, email me. And I will, I will make sure you get, it gets to you. So I didn't really need to do uh, the whole rubby of the business here. Um, any makeup brush will work here. But I like to just get any little bits that might be on the insides all out of there. So there's that. And this comes with a die, which is really nice. I think the die is probably a little bigger than I need. So I think we'll just do this. Actually, you know, it's funny. The first time I ever saw this, I saw Simon doing this, as in Simon Hurley. Very first time I ever saw someone do this. And what I saw him do was take a piece of paper and kind of line it up. I uh, use, I, 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 hate to, I hate to reinvent the wheel, but I use a piece of acetate. Um, and all you do is you line your paper up here with the edge of your trimmer and then stick this guy underneath and then you can see exactly where you are cutting. And I guess I could probably do it this way. There we go. So there's one. And then you can always make sure it's straight. And I've even got all my little dies over here to cut out all my little sentiments. But I just find that this is so much easier and so much quicker. So, but yeah, Simon was the very first person I saw do that. I thought, oh, well, isn't he just a little smarty pants teaching us old ladies these new tricks? You so are my... said it's called Mint Tape by Simon Hurley. Oh, Oh, so it's actual Simon's tape. Well, there you Simon go. Simon product. Simon product. You go, Simon. All right. So congratulations, and you are my everything. There we go. And now I will use my Simon, my green Simon says stamp <laughs> scissors. And I think. I might actually even at some point um, distress these a little. I feel like that one could have been trimmed a little bit skinnier. 
can never never get them skinny enough there we go so you are my everything I feel like that just kind of fits in here a little better than had it have been white and I'll show you exactly what I was going to use I was going to pull out this guy so I'll let you see what I mean this guy here so I was going to do happy anniversary and well let's barring the reflection do you see how it just I'm not gonna say it looks bad but and you know I'm feeling like that is just such a pretty it looks so pretty that I might have to switch it up and I might have to change it because now I feel like this is just too plain. I don't like that now. And what you could do, what you could do if you're like, ah, 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 I should have done that, should have, could have, would have, you can grab your dome with your vintage photo, thank you, and just... Oops, and I bent it. Go over top. Ah, I bent it again. I'm going too quickly. And now you have a darker. And I don't know that I would have gone this dark for this particular one. Let me see what happens if we get rid of some of this and do the other side and just go a little lighter. Do you know what the big Zippo said to the little Zippo? You're just a little lighter. Or no, what did the hippo say to the zippo? Oh, You're just a little lighter. What? What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? Oh yeah, what's this? this is Todd's dad jokes. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One's a little lighter. That's it. That's it. I'm going wrecking all the dad jokes. Yeah, this would have looked better. Hold on, I have another one. Let's do this one. Okay, so I just kind of rubbed a lot of it off here because it was pretty heavy and I'm just gonna go a lot lighter um, I just read something uh, Jen when do we washi? get when do we get washi what do you mean when do we get washi are you asking when it's going up on the website I have a meeting tomorrow about it to get a launch date as a matter of fact funny you asked so there that would look a lot better, right? Because it's kind of been, it's been vintageized a little bit more. This one is like way too dark. I'm not going to get rid of that though, because you can't see the bend and it's just, while it's not the right color for here, it could be the right color for something else. Like it would even match there a little bit better, but I don't want to get rid of it because it's not, it's not ruined but we are getting close to my seven o'clock. I don't want to keep you guys all night. So I don't know. I may have to refoil. I may have to rethink everything here, but let me blend a little bit on here, this one, because I feel like this needs just a little bit of something, something here. It's a little bit too stark, as is my card. So let's do a little blending. We'll at least get one put together. Yes, yes. Aw, Chris, that's romantic. That's so cute. Three yellow roses. Why three? Did you ever ask him why three and not 12 or 100 or six, but why three? Simon Hurley's tape. I'm going to have to check that out now. I mean, if I can get if I can get my battle of the embossing powders done, maybe I'll do a battle of the tapes. Cause they gotta be versatile for everything for me, especially now because of that yellow one. You know, I can use it for everything. So if it's good for everything, then I'm a fan. So there we have that one. I like that. Now this here, direct onto here, um, does leave a bit of a let me see if I can okay you see that it leaves a little bit of a, a bow okay so you'll have to contend with that where you glue it this on the other hand won't do that right because we did a little pop out so that may be your deciding factor there on whether or not you want to cut the hole out or not and I'm going to just trim off these little a couple little pieces here that uh, perform a little flower surgery 
and put this guy right on my whole card front. And this one will get it on a card front too, even though I'm not, I might um, even want to run that through. No, I should be fine. Go a little bit around here. There we go. And actually I'm gonna put my glue here now so it starts to get a little tacky. Because I've got a little I'm gonna have to put a little heavier on this one too because of that wax right direct down, right? A little bit extra around that area. And then let's go this way. Oh, 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 oh. Close call, almost didn't make it straight. There we go, move you over. And then we shall take our little guy off the back here. And our tweezers. I got so quiet all of a sudden. And I'm gonna, oh, I can't. I was gonna tilt that, but I got writing there because I can still read my writing. So, 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 so cool. So it's it's got a significant little pop up there, but the paper is continued, which I love. All right, one more card background. Make sure we put this on the right way. Yes, I did. I was going to say I forgot to put my distressing around the outside there. There we go. And that glued down really well, actually. It, re it formed back quite nicely. And I'm a little bit shy up there, but that's okay because that just means I didn't trim properly. And I will just trim that off. But there, we've got our washi card done. So, um, Heather, let Cindy Lynn that I am. I'm just, hmm, sorry, I think she said she is, she's saying she is a bestie, so I'm just asking if she's able oh. to find it or not. But you said if, if she can't, she can just email you and... and Absolutely. I, I'm pretty sure it's on there somewhere. But thank you for joining us, Miss Angie. I know Miss Angie had to go. I'm just going to trim off there where I was a little bit, the tiniest little bit over. And our other guy, let's put this on a card front too. Uh, I'm, I'm going to wait to put it on my card front until I wait to see what I want to do with my, I'm, I'm reforming after my stenciling, but I do love the way that one turned out. That one's so, so pretty. I don't know which one, which one do you guys like better? Do you like the soft roses of Paris or do you like... The vibrant, vibrant roses here in the Vintage Florals 2. Let me know in the comments or in the chat which one you prefer. But there you have some fun examples of different ways that you can play with hot glue or your uh, wax. And leave your wax in here, by the way. Like, there's no sense in pouring it all out. Like, you can just start next time with this and what I did is I actually picked up a few extras of these because what if I didn't want to use pink and green and copper next time at least I can put this one to the side right and I can start afresh with a new new color so if you have extras of these then this just goes back into whatever little container you store stuff in and you never lose your wax right so Hopefully you enjoyed those few, you like the vibrant ones, vibrant, vibrant. I I like the vibrancy, but there's something to be said with that Paris set that I just, I just love the Paris set. So I'm with you, Terry. I like the soft too. I love the pretty, the, the, the vibrant ones, but I don't know. I'm, my Paris, I think is, is aside from the girls that, that through the four piece set here with the, um, the other one I was showing you guys this set. I love the teals and the pinks here. Aside from that one, I think Paris is my, uh, it's my bucket list. One day, one day we'll get there, right? 
but Wendy, Wendy's with the soft and muted too. So this month is all about distressing. So if you haven't joined to be a bestie, now's the time. I know I say that every month, but every month is a great month to join, right? So we're going to do all sorts of different distressing. Broke it all down into three different classes. So you can see what those all are on the classes and events on the My Inky Fingers website. And if you are an Inky Bestie, log in. Click where it says Inky Bestie links. Click that. It'll prompt you to log in. And that's where all of your links are. Okay. So with that being said, thank you again, Heather, for gracing us with your presence tonight and reading all of the chat from our wonderful Inky friends. Yes, thank you, and everybody have a wonderful evening. Don't forget before you leave, thumbs up on the video, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified when Cindy Lynn is on live. This is why I keep her around. And if you ever tried to chat on a live and you can't chat, it could be because you're not subscribed. Because I have this sneaky little setting that I check the box and you have to be a subscriber to chat. So everybody that's chatting is 100% subscribed. But if you've been trying to chat, I'm sure it pops up and says subscribe to chat or something, right? So you are very welcome, Dana and Chris and Wendy and Mary and Terry and everybody, everybody and everybody that silently watches. You are just as important. You're kind of like me where you just kind of lurk in the shadows and watch silently. And that's okay too. Give the video a thumbs up. And there's no class this weekend. I actually have a weekend off and I am taking it off. So if you email me, you won't hear back from me until next week. And hopefully you all take some time for you. Crafty time, whatever kind of time it is. And until I see you again, would you like to say goodnight, Heather? Good night, everyone. Take care and happy stamping.